Hello, I'm Nigel Freitas and welcome to Technology Behind Business. On today's show, is the bank branch dead? It's been on death row for many years now, but Westpac says rumours of its demise have been greatly exaggerated. We'll be hearing from their executive in charge of retail banking and our expert panel on what's hot and what's not in the world of gadgets just in time for your Christmas shopping list. But first up today, CIOs are worried that digital illiteracy among senior executives is hampering business growth. And that's a conclusion of a recent survey conducted by CA Technologies. 85% of CIOs say a lack of technology understanding is causing missed opportunities, poor competitiveness and slower time to market. Here to tell us more is Bill McMurray, the Managing Director of CA Technologies in Australia. Bill, welcome to Technology Behind Business this afternoon. Let's get this straight. Do senior executives actually understand technology? Well, senior executives understand their area of specialisation. CIOs, as part of that senior executive team, understand technology. And the survey that we did recently, which was digital literacy amongst senior executives, was designed to survey about 700 CIOs across the world uh, where they had employees of greater than 500 people per company uh, to determine what their thoughts were of digital literacy amongst their uh, senior executive teams that they work with. Now, they actually found, well, 85 per cent say this lack of technology understanding is, is causing these missed opportunities. What's the actual problem here? What's causing that? Okay, so the problem behind it, I think, is the communication between CIOs and the other executive members of that team. Um, for example, if a CIO is uh, not involved in the strategic planning or strategic discussions about the future of the business and what needs to be done, then their opportunity to communicate how technology can be used to achieve a better business outcome or an improved business outcome is, uh, is not given to the rest of the, uh, the senior executive community that they're working with. That's a good point around strategic decision making because usually the, the CEO would be involved, the COO and the CFO. Is there still a sense that IT and, and the CIO is, is a support function and not a core function of the business? Yes, yeah, so I think it depends business to business. In some organisations it's clear that uh, senior executives see IT as a cost function and when that happens of course it isn't involved as part of the strategic planning and therefore you only get out of it what uh, the CIO can do with the time that they're given. But if a CIO can determine how to communicate what technology can do for the business and what the benefit is, what's the business benefit, what is the result that you can get from using it better to that executive team, then we see much better entrenchment of the CIO in those strategic discussions. Are you seeing any change, Bill, in the skill sets required for CIOs? Um, traditionally, a lot of them have come up from, from within IT. Is that changing as well? Well, without a doubt. I mean, CIOs 10, 20 years ago used to be you know, very technology-centric, and that was their passion, and that's all they loved. And the CIO today is the pinnacle of the, of the technical career, I would say, for, uh, for executives. But uh, CIOs today need to be much more business savvy, they need to be much more in tune with what the business is trying to do and how they get there. Their job is to manage the, uh, the budgets that they've got to achieve the best result possible, do things today faster, better, cheaper and with less risk, all in a fashion that allows the business to uh, you know, improve its results. The challenge is communicating that to the other executives in a fashion that they then understand and can then understand how to take advantage of the output of technology as opposed to the other executives having to understand what the technology behind the scenes is. Given that you're saying that the business and technology are becoming increasingly intertwined, how long is it, do you think, uh, before we'll start to see CIOs starting to get promoted into that CEO role regularly? Yeah, so that's uh, regularly. I think what comes down to then is the competence of the individuals that compete for those roles. But if, for sure, if a CIO can only communicate technology, then they are unlikely to be considered in that uh, vein as a CIO candidate. But the CIO that can communicate technology in business terms and then take part of those strategic discussions is as good a candidate for the CEO seat as any of the other lines of business senior executives. So it's about being able to communicate in that business language. Bill, great insights. Thanks for coming on today. My pleasure. Thank you.